What's poppin' people? You already know me as Young Tyrannosaurus Rex! And, um, you know, before we even get started today, um, is this gonna go up a little bit later than I usually post? Um, but, you know, I had a lot of stuff to do today, and I'm gonna cut the fat on, on this video. Um, so I'm probably gonna, like, in the end of the description, I'm gonna tell you where to go to the time, uh, if you want to see what the strategy is, because I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. It's something that I, I saw on the forum, and I was like, I gotta try this. I gotta give it a shot. Um, but let me <laughs> explain to you what's about to happen. I right, right. So. Alright, alright. I think I got this. So, uh, you might, you probably remember a little bit of this team before. It's Colossal, Obstagoon, Surf. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. But, this has the added bonus of Ndidi. Ndidi is not your typical Ndidi this time around. What I plan to do with Ndidi is to psych up with other Pokemon. Um, so I'm hoping that works out pretty well. They actually uh, they have quite a bit of a, a team. Quite a team. Quite a team. For sure. Um, but you know what? I just don't care. I just don't care. Uh, Urshifu, I think, can do a lot of good work here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not super worried about their team, to be honest. It's a good team. It's a great team, don't get me wrong. I just think I'm very well equipped this time around for what they may bring. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to get rid of some of my stuff. You guys want to see what I carry in my pockets, man? <laughs> okay. So, what do I carry in my pockets? Uh, of course, I have my wallet. I had this thing since Combo Breaker. Good, good wallet. Uh, Combo Breaker, hey! Uh, Galaxy Butts. I carry a little thing of hand sanitizer nowadays, because why wouldn't you, man? Oh, man. I, I got these two. This one's okay. This one's Mango Mai Time, I think. This one, though. Atlantic? Oh, my God. <laughs> if you want to smell like a sir, that's what you go for. <laughs> All right. So, Intimidate coming through. And Carrie Ann is also here. Hi. I am also in the Oh. Get out. <laughs> um, cool. So... Here is the fun part, right? This is the fun part. This is the great part. This is the part everyone's waiting for. Let's go! Um, so, um, my big thing should be Arcanine, right? In theory, that's what I should be going for. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I explained it already. This team is super different. Um, having Carrie Ann to bounce ideas off of has been super helpful. She doesn't play competitively, but she does know what she's talking about. Sometimes. <laughs> kinda, I just kinda choose the randos and I'm like, I like this one, and you're like, hey, actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, so it, it's nice, because I'm usually, like, I'm all alone when I team build, unless it's someone from Discord, which you should all join, by the way. Um, but, oh, okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, but yeah, um, she was very, very, I would say, detrimental, or not detrimental. She is extremely important to the team building for these next couple of videos. Voca lift coming through, baby! Bop! Alright, this is good. This is good. Uh, this has some of your influence, yes. Cool, cool, cool! Alright. So, um... They do spore me successfully, which is pretty bad, but... Not the most important thing here. Not by a long shot. So, Amoongus has been hurt. That's good. Very good. Very, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good, very good. Very, 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 very good. <laughs> some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> that's, um, that's some Mexican music for you. Um, wow, we're asleep. Isn't that crazy but we got a vocal lift off which is nice um i think they're gonna keep using snarl on me which uh that's actually it plays against my strategy very well they don't know my strategy but they're playing against it pretty well uh obstagoon should knock out this moongus pretty easily Bop. Right. <laughs> 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 we tapped that forehead like it was Sasuke. 
Not very effective on Nopsy Moon. That's fine. That's fine. But Colossal is now at neutral. And that's not fine. That's that's no good. You don't like that. Not a, not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not even a little Um, but you know what? We're uh we're sitting pretty comfortable right now until they Dynamax. Like we're two turns into our Dynamax. And now we gotta worry about this thing. This thing coming through. Oh my goodness gracious. Um yeah, that's actually super bad. <laughs> not even gonna lie. Surfing. Uh, uh no. That's a really bad option. Why? Because, because if I surf, uh, it's like one of the weakest moves that Obstacle mm -hmm. can learn. It doesn't have a high special attack. But I would like to get rid of the Cinderace. ASAP. See who play. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna max guard here. Just in case I wake up. Alright, so they're gonna Dynamax first. Obviously, they're going for the Dynamax Cinderace. Um, if they go for a max fighting onto Obstagoon, I'm gonna be very sad. Obviously, that's what they would go for. I don't see why you wouldn't. They could also go for uh, max airstream. They have options. They have options. They should go for a max airstream. They go for protect on Arcanine, which is really nice. I wasn't worried about that. Max Knuckle. Yeah, they're going into uh, Obstagoon. Which I think is okay. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. We we'll see here in a moment. Um, because the strat's about to come through. And I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to come back from this. We need to wake up with Colossal. That's a given. We need to wake up like now. Num num num. Alright, get it Arcanine. Get that health. Num num. Right. Um... We could also... I feel like Urshifu is uh... J like a just in case kind of a Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's uh... We're waiting on something there. Psychic Surge! Let's go baby! So they can snarl here, just to make sure that, uh, we should wake up this turn. And we are faster than Syndrace, definitely. But we're gonna psych up, this is the whole strat here, we're gonna psych up, and... Should I go for Ancient Power? It's probably not the best move. I'm gonna go for Heat Wave, fuck him. All right, so, wake up. Yes, we woke up. And we are faster, so Cinderace is taking neutral damage from this. A burn? A burn? No burn. Max Knuckle coming off. Uh, please don't knock out my Colossal. Oh, we knocked out the Colossal. That's really bad, because now I have wasted essentially two turns. Um, oof. Big oof. Losing some of that HP. Going for a snarl. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We are. Wow, this <laughs> backfired on us so hard. I thought with our defense being kind of decent, we would have. But, but you know, they're life orb plus one. I should have known better. I couldn't protect though. Could not protect. Don't have that move. What is that move? I don't know it. Do you know it? Because I don't. Um. So next we have Urshifu. Urshifu, what do you do? Let me tell you. Um, not a damn thing. <laughs> hey! Um, I guess I just expanding force here, right? Like, <laughs> that's probably the best move that I can go for right now. Um, we can make this potentially a 2v1. And that would be definitely really nice. Uh, Wicked Blow. Do we go for that? I think we go for that. Onto Cinderachi. Um, what's up? Oh, yeah, let me, I guess I'll explain that. So, Urshifu has a Focus Sash. And Urshifu can knock out Cinderace from where it stands. Um, Arcanine, I feel, will go for a Snarl this turn. But we should be able to um, just knock out Cinderace. Expanding Force and the Psychic Terrain will hit both Pokemon. Wow, so that actually, <laughs> it keeps backfiring. Snarl shot me down super hard. 
Ooh. But like, you, you guys see what I was going for. Ark and I should have been dead a while ago. If it wasn't for that berry. I'm hoping we can pick up a KO. Well, you know what? We're probably not even gonna get that far. Pyro Ball. Miss? No. <laughs> Instead, we get this dope animation. But, you know what? It's. If it wasn't for Snarl, we would have been really well off. Snarl was just really, really important there. And they, I think they did a good job of recognizing that. I, I got outplayed. <laughs> I got out gimmicked. My gimmick was shut down by actual strategy. Community claim, please do not turn off the poor and continue battling. See if we play. Oh, Kalos deserved better. And, oh, that hurts being under 20,000. <laughs> An opposing trainer has been found. Let's go, Steez. Steez, you're, you're even worse than me. Uh, cool. So. Yeah, the, their entire strategy revolves around um, Pelosmer. So I'm thinking what's the best strat for myself. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go in DD Colossal. Torkoal in the back. Torkoal in the back. Hey! Uh, and then who would I want to Um, Urshifu does good work here, for sure, but it does get messed up. It does get messed up. Um, Obstagoon would be fun to have, for sure. It gets rid of a lot of important items, I think. Um... Urshifu is just... It's hard to deny Urshifu. <laughs> it really is. Urshifu was definitely one of those Pokemon that I like, as soon as I started, like, when it was introduced and all that, I, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I heard about it through its abilities, and I was like, you know what, there, there's something there. And then I started using it, and I was like, this Pokemon is God. This Pokemon is too good. But the more I've used it, the more I saw its weaknesses, um, but I'm still really liking it. Okay, okay. So this was actually probably the best case scenario here. This was really good for me, actually. Okay, so I predict that they're gonna switch out to Meowstic here. Meowstic has no business being here right now. Um, so I can. No, this is gonna be a really weird play. Oh wait, do I don't have Protect on Colossal, do I? Double attack the Kingdra. If you think that will be there. And then that knocks out Kingdra. Um. No, so I have a different problem. Mm. So I keep forgetting that I don't have Protect on Colossal. I should really have Protect on Colossal. They're gonna max Ocean onto Colossal. If I protected, I would have taken the most half health damage, but it would have activated everything. Um, their mail stick is useless in the psychic terrain, which is really funny. <laughs> and the drops. So we're trying to weaken the water move as much as possible. Alright, so they did switch out the Pelipper, which is interesting. I also, I'm really curious why they stayed in with, uh, with, uh, Meowstic, <laughs> um, because Meowstic has the move priority, priority gets cancelled out in some situations with the Psychic Terrain. Fake Out would also not work in Psychic Terrain. So they're using Prison. Okay, that's fine. They do go for a Hydro Pump, it does connect on the Colossal, so they triggered me. They triggered me so good. Oh, Engine, let's go. 
So now they're going to lose a very, very, very important sweeper. Boom, boom. But now we're left with a guessing game as to what um, what happens with this Meowstic. Okay, so, I'm in a bit of a guessing game here. Okay, so I predict that they have an expanding force. I don't want to exactly um, do the trick room stuff just yet. No, I'm going to max flare the Meowster. So my thought process now is Kingdra's almost dead. Um, there's going to be some switching first. Um, they didn't switch out, which is kind of nice. Kingdra's almost dead. I'm not worried about Kingdra. Uh, max flare coming through to destroy the Meowster is one of the better moves that I can make right now. They could switch Pelipper in next, but Kingdra, again, is almost dead. I'm really not worried about it. Because if they switch in, um, if they switch in Pelipper now. I can switch back into Torkoal to erase the rain with Sun one more time. <laughs> it's a big ass game, right? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're not getting the strategy off again, but you know what? This is fine. I'm playing to the best of my abilities, and who could blame me? So again, we're switching back into Torkoal. Colossal just. Doing its best, honestly. Are you gonna die if you don't go Kingdra? No, so Kingdra will uh, get knocked out by itself this turn with the uh, Max Vocalith. It does repeating damage. Nope, because it would normally with uh, with the rain, but because we're resetting the rain with Sun, Swift Swim doesn't activate again. So, like, even if we go down here, it's really not that big of an issue. Indeed, he comes back one more time. Torko coming through yet again. A sunny day. Taking the clouds away. Hey, let's get it. Let's talk to him. Oh my goodness gracious, big damage, big damage. And a Dragon Pulse just to barely knock me out, that's fine. Colossal, you did lots of work and I salute you. You are you, you, part of the dance crew, you're the b-boy. And Kingdra, get off my screen, come on. Adios, caballero. Um, anyways, I think Ndidi has to go in the back just in case. I don't know what they have next, but it is their Dynamax Pokemon. It's an Azumarill! Oh, right. This is great, actually. So we, um, very happily outspeed that Azumarill. Um. Okay, so Solar Beam normally, yes, I would agree with, right? But it's super risky right now. Why? <laughs> so. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No, it just attacks. Yes. Your eyes and it'll be dead. <laughs> no, you can't just do that. You can't just do that. So it's gonna Dynamax this turn, right? And if it goes into Torkoal, it's gonna erase the sun again. We don't want that. Right now, it's gonna do half damage on the Max Ocean. But if it went into Torkoal, Torkoal would be gone. Right now, we need to switch into Indeedee. Ndidi's gonna take just over half health. It's gonna trigger a berry. We're gonna eat that berry. We're gonna switch it to Torkoal next turn so it can reset the sun one more time. They're gonna completely forget about Obstagoon and all that. Unless they go for a max Starfall this turn, in which case, out. But knockoff! I'm predicting their move. So, no life orb. So, max ocean. That. Talk to him! Talk to him! Oh, they didn't even do half damage!
And one more turn of the rocks. I forgot about the rocks. We are burned now, which is A-OK -okay with me, baby. Um, I think this turn they would go for um, a Max Starfall onto Obstagoon, because Obstagoon is now the threat. But they lost their life orb, so they're not going to do that much damage. It can go for Max Ocean, sure, whatever. I'm not sure if they'll even bother predicting me, because I switched out so much. I've switched out so much! But it was all in the name of the motherland. Alright, so, expanding force. A hey, super go. So a max ocean into whom? Ndidi. Yep. Alright, so Ndidi does go down. And this will be their last turn of Dynamax. The Radiance disappeared from the battle. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this was the best possible play. It just took like Omega level thinking for a second. Like, I was definitely feeling like an X-Men the way I plugged into fucking Sinestro. And I was like, I gotta hear all his thoughts. And bam, <laughs> here we are. Yeah, no, they lost. Um. Solar Beam! Okay, so. Here's the other reason why I didn't want to go for Solar Beam initially. Solar Beam is a grass type move. Azumarill usually does not run this, but one of their abilities is Sap Sipper. Sap Sipper ignores the damage from a grass type move, but takes it as a stat boost. But they forfeited it instead. <laughs> that was that was actually kind of fun switching out that much. Like it was they couldn't handle it. <laughs> they definitely could not handle it. Congratulations on winning in the highest rank! Some of these Pokemon were not uh, champions, I guess. Wow. I I'm offended.